Hello everyone, welcome to Green Gander 75. My name is Buddy. Let's get started taking the taper attachment apart on the 14 and a half inch south bend lathe. Here you can see me removing one of two gibs on the taper attachment. With the gib removed, I can now remove the taper pin that holds the upper assembly together. It took some effort to drive the parts apart. We will finish the disassembly by removing the lower gib. This screwdriver is used for driving parts apart, removing paint and nothing else. I've seen the handles crack on a throwaway screwdriver like this before, so I'm wearing my safety glasses. Alright, so we got the taper attachment, it's now clean, uh, painted, and ready to put on the lathe. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that started. This, as you might remember from earlier video, a uh, way earlier video, has uh, alignment pins. Next up, we're going to put some oil here. On the back side of this here, there is a place for a gib. We'll go ahead and install, install the gib. Alright, with that in place, I'm going to put this in place. Just like that. This now goes on this. And it also has a gib. Here I'm reinstalling the taper pin I removed earlier. Now we have two screws that will go in right here. No real instruction on which one goes where. I got a feeling one of these is probably aftermarket was done at some point. We'll just go ahead and put them in at a random place here. Next up we have this clamp here. I don't have the full clamp. I'll need to, to make a piece to go underneath the bottom here. Okay, so the taper attachment is now installed, but here's where we run into a bit of an issue, and it's and it's actually very disappointing. And let me explain to you what has happened here. So at some point in in the process of you know in, in the history of this lathe, um, it has been worked on, and we've discussed this in the past. The cross side screw, screw is from what I can tell is not the original. The original screw would have um, a telescoping feature or it would slide. 
the screw that is that is in this lathe um, does not have that uh, telescoping feature. So unfortunately, because of that, and because of the way the uh, the nut is on the screw, and it's not easily disconnected, it's make it makes it impossible to take and use the taper attachment. So, right now the taper attachment is just for looks. Unfortunately, I can't use it. Um, one day I do want to replace that screw. I want to replace it with the correct screw for this machine uh, because that screw is not in good shape. It doesn't work properly and it does need to be replaced. It's got a lot of slop in it, and it's also extremely tight in places. Um, I took and did a lot of work on it, um, but it's just not right. It's not right at all. The nuts have been replaced. All the nuts are new, uh, but the screw is wrong. And it's actually wrong for this lathe. This lathe should have a telescoping cross-slide screw, which it does not. So at this point we've gone just about as far as we can on doing the taper attachment. It's back on. Uh, looks pretty good. Everything uh, is sliding pretty good on it. Uh, best I can tell. Unfortunately it's basically just for looks and right now it cannot be used. So that's where we stand on that. Next up on this lathe we're going to get started on the tailstock and yeah, looking forward to doing that. Um, and that'll be the next series on this lathe and that should be the last series um, part for this uh, or this project and we're going to wrap this up and move on to some other things. So looking forward to that. Well it is cold tonight. <laughs> it's a very cold uh, cold night and a January night here in Florida so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and head on in uh, I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for your comments, and uh, looking forward to uh, finishing up this project and uh, bringing you all along and, uh, and getting it wrapped up. So um, I guess that is all for this evening, and uh, thank you again, and we'll see you next time, and you all have a good evening.